Welcome back to Fabulous Mode Detailing. In this video, we're going to take a look at Meguiar's Professional Detailing Clay. Let's do it. So when I got the detailing clay, um, I wasn't planning on making a video. I was going to just use it and see what I thought of it, you know, and if I liked it, I was going to continue using it on cars. But I bought the mild on purpose because of that 52 gas, if you guys remember, I wanted a mild clay for that car. And I didn't know if I was going to need a mild clay. I didn't know how bad the paint was going to be as far as it had any contaminants or not, which it ended up not having any, so I didn't even have to use it. So it's still brand new. It's still brand new in the package. Haven't even opened it yet. But... Like I said, I wasn't I wasn't going to make a video on this. And then I just kind of started thinking, I was like, you know, I should make a video because when I'm looking at buying a new product, I usually check for videos. I get on Amazon, check for reviews, stuff like that. And I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna make the video on it. So this video hopefully won't be really long because there's not a whole lot to talk about when it comes to detailing clay. Now, the reason I decided to buy this, because you guys know, my most of you guys know, my favorite clay is Griot's Garage's paint cleaning clay. This is extremely good clay. Um, this is $20 for 226 grams. You can buy, <laughs> I laugh, you can buy the professional detailing clay on Amazon for $21. It's 200 grams, so it's 26 grams less. I paid $35 for it. I feel like an idiot, but a company comes into my work. You guys know I'm a mechanic, uh, Harms Auto Supply, and they sell McGuire stuff. I say, hey, give me, a, give me one of those catalogs. So he gave me a catalog that shows all their products that they sell. And I knew I needed a mild, and I knew I could have it that day. If I order it from, they will deliver it that day. So I ordered it, and it was $35. And I was like, yeah, it's kind of real expensive for clay, you know. But I was like, oh, well, maybe that's what it cost. Got home, got on Amazon. I was like, uh, $21. But I needed it that day because the next day I was doing the gasser. So I didn't have time to wait on Amazon anyways. But anyways, you can get it on Amazon for $21. If I like it, I'll put it down in the description of the video. So I'm going to read this really quick. I'm not going to go over the directions or anything like that. But it does say it removes the bonded surface contaminants. Uh, overspray, industrial fallout, fresh water spots, tar, rail, dust, and tree sap. And it says equally effective on, this is what's cool, equally effective on paint, glass, metal, and plastic. Because a lot of companies want to sell you a glass clay. They want to sell you a paint clay, uh, stuff like that. And it, it says on plastic too, so that's pretty cool. What we're going to do today, we're going to be doing it on the hood that I have here. Uh, thank you to Todd, my, my brother-in-law, as you guys know him as the hoof. Uh, he's the one that got me this this hood. I finally have a hood and it's a black hood So I hopefully everybody's really happy about that. We're going to be making some videos on this hood There'll be this video and then there'll be a video following this one on this hood. So hopefully you guys enjoy that So we're going to go ahead and open this up Now in case I forget to mention at the end of the video Anytime you have a clay and you are done with it if you if it comes in a container when you put the clay back in the container, you need to spray a detail spray or whatever you're using as lube for your clay. You need to spray it in here to keep the clay wet when it's in storage. So my Griot's clay, which I ran out of and I bought some more a couple months ago, as you see, this is still a brand new package. It's really sticky. Now, Auto Fanatic is one of the reasons I went with this um, is because about six months to a year ago, he had a video about clay and he absolutely loves a professional clay by Meguiar's. So that's, that's the main reason why I decided to go with this. He says it's not nearly as sticky, so we're gonna find out. I don't have any gloves on, as you guys can see, as the Griot's clay. I can tell you right now, it's not, like just like he says. It's sticky, but not as bad. The Griot's is actually really sticky. So what we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna get the camera set up on the hood, and let's see what this stuff does. All right, so here it is. This hood is trashed. It needs a lot of paint correction, so that's what videos we got coming up, as you guys can see. It needs a lot of work, but I'm so happy to have a hood finally to do tests on. Yeah, it's got some rust, but we won't worry about that. So let me show you guys. I'm gonna show you with my glove hand first. It, this thing is like really bad, like sandpaper. Doesn't sound nearly as bad with the glove on. Check this out. Oh, I mean, it's it's really bad, but I can feel it. It, it just feels like you're rubbing your hand across sandpaper. So we will be using O&R as the clay lube. There's not much to a clay video, so... Like I said, hopefully this isn't really long. My introduction and explaining why I bought the clay is probably going to be longer than the whole video. I don't know. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use my O&R, but I'm also going to use my Speed Shine, because that's what I normally use as my clay lube. The O and R is kind of new to me still, but everybody's been telling me I need it, so that's why I bought it. Okay, so when you 
when you have brand new clay, there's no reason to use this whole piece of clay. You need to take about one third of it and just rip it in half. Not rip it in half, but rip a third off. Okay, about like that. We're gonna put the rest back in here. There's no need to use that. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to kind of knead this into a, I like to put it into a ball. That's the way I do it. And then I take my hands and I smash it out into a nice little patty. And as you work the clay, it's going to thin out. That's about the size that I like right there. Oops, I'm not even showing you guys. That's about the size that I like to have. That's about it. O and R, here we go. Let's just do this section. I need a wipe off towel. Oh. Yeah, this, this hood is trashed. <laughs> Holy smokes. Now, probably now they do sell an aggressive clay. Like I said, I bought the mild. But let's see what it does. It's definitely getting extremely smooth now. And once again, remember you only clay when you need to. If it starts feeling like it's not sliding, that's all you gotta do. This would probably need two passes. Let's just see. Look at that, you guys. Holy smokes. That is really bad. I told you it felt really bad. This is an example where you probably could get away with needing the aggressive clay. Oh, and R is really slick, though. Starting to see why you guys wanted me to buy it for so long. Okay. Hear that difference? but it's not perfect yet because this is absolutely hammered. Absolutely hammered, but look, just right from here to there. See how the noise pretty much goes away? Now I wanna try Speed Shine. This is what I'm normal, this is what I'm used to using, so it kinda of gives me a better feel. It should give me a better feel of what, it, what it's doing. And that is just as slick as O and R. This is the exact same spot. I gotta do this whole hood because I'm gonna be doing a polishing video. But for this video, it's just gonna be right here. And I do like it's not nearly as slick as the Griots. I do like that, or not slick, uh, sticky. You can see how slick it is, the Speed Shine. And I have like two or three gallons of Speed Shine left, so I've been, I'll have been use that for clay loops still, even though I have O and R. Look. Same spot that we did earlier. So I knew it'd probably take at least two. This probably needs a, an actual chemical decontamination, iron remover. We ain't gonna worry about that. Can't do that here, it's only like 10 degrees outside. No, oh, listen. Fantastic, and I do like that it's a, a color where you can actually see the contaminants that you're taking off. And then in case you don't know, when you're using clay, when you're done with a pass like that one right there, you wanna take this and you wanna fold it over and you're just going to knead it back and that's gonna suspend all those particles inside the clay. You can get, out of this one right here, you can probably do seven to 10 cars. It really depends on how contaminated the paint is on those cars, you guys. So I'm gonna finish doing the rest of this little hood piece and then I will come back with my closing uh, thoughts on it. All right, I am done with it. Now, in person, I can see a slight difference. You gotta remember, gloss comes from polishing, but contaminants also hide your gloss, so it actually is glossier now than it was before. But now, that's just my, you hear my gloves. It is smooth as glass. It feels really good. And wait till you guys see this piece of clay that I used on the last section right over here. It is hammered. All right, I am done with the hood. This is the, <laughs> oh my gosh. That thing is absolutely trash. And normally you don't run into paint that bad. That's from people that absolutely neglect their paint and don't detail it. I mean, look at that. This piece is not ruined, but it's gonna be good for maybe one more, if that, and then I have to move on to that. Like I said, normally you don't run into that. Take your spray. I spray a bunch in there. 
O and R ain't very expensive. Speed Shine's not that expensive. Um, keep your clay moist that way. I really like this detailing clay. Now, as far as comparing it to Griot's, which is my favorite, it's not as aggressive. Griot's is definitely more aggressive. You can get everything usually in the first pass, but they do sell in a more aggressive form. So you can't really compare the apples to apples in this case with my favorite clay, because I don't have the aggressive. I do like, if you guys notice, there is no blue on my right hand. This is my right hand, it's what I clay with. When I get done doing the with the Griot's clay, my glove and the reason I started wearing gloves my fingers will be yellow completely yellow and you have to peel it away from your night your gloves um, before I started wearing gloves it would be under my fingertips the clay would it would be like in the lines in my skin would be yellow from the clay no big deal I just started wearing gloves uh, still a fantastic clay the Griot's is but this is really good it's it, like it says it is mild if you have a show car or you have a car that's your car that you detail. You know that it's not gonna be really contaminated, but you feel light contaminants here and there. That's the clay to buy in my opinion because you know it's going to be safe. It's not gonna be really aggressive on the paint because any clay is an abrasive. So you only clay when you absolutely have to. I think I said that earlier in the video, but I really do like this Meguiar's. Like I said, I think it's $21 for this. I'll put down in the link in the description, um, a link to my Amazon store. You guys don't have to buy it from there. I just like to give you guys an option, an easy place to find it because the channel does make a little bit of money on it. Um, I do think that the Speed Shine's a little bit slicker than the O&R. I know that may make, make some people mad, a lot of O&R people, um, but Speed Shine is what I've always used for clay lube and I used it with this and it was slicker with this than that O&R was. And the O&R is diluted properly, just like you're supposed to. I will say that the aggressive clay from Meguiar is actually like a dollar cheaper than the mild for some reason. So I'll put both of them in the links uh, to the video. I already have the Griot's clay in my Amazon store. So if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button while you're down there, ring that little bell. So the next time I upload a video, you get notified and we will see you in the next video.